if they don't know the term geospatial, more and more people are using geospatial technology in their daily lives. From hailing an Uber to finding the nearest Starbucks, geoinformation has permeated almost every aspect of our lives. In an increasingly interconnected world, spatial relationships are drastically changing the way we visualize data. Today, thanks to the ubiquity of smartphones, tablets and wearable gadgets, technologies like GPS, GIS and remote sensing are no longer exclusive to defense and homeland security. They are becoming integral part of our daily lives. In its 69 years of existence as an independent nation, India has for long been using remote sensing and GIS technologies for various development projects, empowering citizens and future nation building. The renewed government vigor on big ticket infrastructure projects bring the focus back on large scale updated maps and special technologies. And one company which has been playing a crucial role in the geospatial journey is Hexagon. Let's hear from the person shaping the Hexagon strategy in India. It's a growth market for us. Uh, Hexagon has got specific focus uh, within India with its all its business arms have a direct representation in India. Uh, you must be aware that recently we also opened up a 1200 facility new center in Hyderabad, which is the capability center. Apart from that, uh, all business units, including metrology, Hexagon Geosystems, Hexagon Geospatial, Hexagon Safety and Infrastructure have direct presence where we are looking this as an opportunity to escalate and have more and bigger presence in Indian market. India being a focus market, we have created uh, an amalgamation and bringing together the complete solution under the Hexagon umbrella through Hexagon India, where we are talking about the, the harnessing various technologies in newer ways to derive benefits for our customers. As you know that, uh, as I have said in my previous statement, that we try to provide you know, geospatial or industrial measurement sensors. We combine them, integrate them together with our software, domain knowledge and workflow to create a complete solution for our customers. If you look at from the portfolio standpoint, we have sensors, we have aerial centers, we have technologies which processes these data, and we have solutions which ingest that data, creates an intelligent, actionable information. It's in a single way, if you look at from sensor to the web that we are talking about. So if you see Leica Geosystems, Hexagon Geosystems portfolio of various sensors, then you have Geospatial, Hexagon Geospatial, which processes, takes those information, processes that data, creates that data intelligently. So, how is the sentiment to do business in India? The sentiments are quite positive. Uh, frankly speaking, there are big programs which are coming up, like Smart City, like Digital India. There are investments which are coming from the government. The government is willing and is taking decisions in the positive direction to make sure that the geospatial technologies become a part of every implementation that is happening. Uh, Recently, uh, Prime Minister has announced Digital India in that he also mentioned that space technology will play an important role in all decision making. So what we are doing today is being supported and is backed with government investment. Announcement of 100 smart cities in India has opened a huge market for next second. You see, as regards the smart cities, you know, this really gives us a very important opportunity for Hexagon users too because we should be able to map all physical infrastructure and the technologies and sensors and software solutions what Hexagon creates and provides can be used, for example, for e-governance, for better measurement, better utilization of utilities, mapping of utilities, asset data collection, and I think, you know, better citizen experience. In fact, uh, the entire smart city revolves around three things. One is the livability, the other one is the workability, and then the sustainability. So, uh, with these three buzzwords, 
uh, around the smart city the first step towards this is to actually empower all the citizens uh, with the latest technology with all the innovation coming up nowadays and hexagon geospatial um, is the is our pioneer in geospatial platform uh, we have a total solution from end to end uh, starting with the sensors uh, in fact uh, we have a division called the geosystems where we, we actually provide sensors for uh, all our users to capture data and then uh, we also have software solutions uh, from intergraph and uh, geospatial uh, division where we process this data we share it manage it and distribute it across the world so with this with this kind of uh, information the decision makers will have an easy job in taking uh, better decisions efficient decisions so that the life of citizens in a smart city becomes much more workability livability as well as sustainability smart cities is an whole fledged is a bigger umbrella of various smaller units of operations be it safe city where you have dial 100 uh, applications be it command control system in a police center or a fire we are there through our solution be it operations of municipal corporations right whether it is water supply seaware whether it is road network the infrastructure building we are there through our geospatial portfolio what we are trying to do is build together a combined framework where we are bringing together information in various silos to make it more intelligent for decision makers to operate visualize and reach their goals together as a single city operations with market embracing geospatial technology there are also some suggestions for the policy makers do you see the map policy of india as a hindrance in the industrial growth in the growth of this gis market i don't think so it's a it's a hindrance but i think it needs a regulatory mechanism so that maps are available to people uh, who wants to make and take decisions at an appropriate level we certainly of the way that this should be reviewed that and this, this should be liberalized so that you know people you know there there are different ways i think you know the situation of the special industry has prepared a draft for this and we are certainly are contributing towards this there is a stress and there will be benefits of using this technology when used in connection with other construction technologies for example in construction in building in engineering etc with sentiment so positive in the market and so many new projects coming up what is the best selling product that hexagon offers to its customers in india the most selling product is called erdas imagine erdas imagine and then we have another product called lika photogrammetry suit uh, these two products uh, are the most saleable products and most of the users use these products to convert their raw data into a very meaningful information so that they take uh, better decisions efficient decisions using this kind of uh, information best selling products for hexagon in india will be total stations and gms solutions which are used day to day for example for this all the highway surveys for doing the road construction for doing for example for providing you know, control points etc so these are the best selling products for that so from farmers to scientists hexagon offers a wide range of solutions how is hexagon able to support such a diverse customer base well one of the key strengths of uh, like a geo systems or hexagon or so called elcom india has been that we have been working very closely with the customers so basically the key to our success or uh, the way we are able to pursue these solutions is because we were able to understand the customers need customize software and hardware to basically make it as a solution or system sales to our customers there is a buzz in the market about the game changing smart maps from hexagon so what exactly is smart map yes you have been heard uh, hearing a lot of buzz around smart maps it is it is going to be a, a game changer in the geospatial world in terms of the way we are perceiving it is bringing in various so called silos of technologies into one common frame 
and allow users to build application as they require to exploit that data to get information which is actionable. In GeoSmart, uh, we are going to formally announce arrival of Smart Map in India. So there, you, Smart Map is completely on Amazon Cloud. This will be in their private servers. So Smart Maps is the map of the future. Okay. This Smart Maps um, is basically a cloud application uh, which is uh, which is which is used to create light lightweight targeted specific business problem targeted apps. What the smart client does is it it gives it empowers all our partners users to create apps on the cloud and use them either internally or put them on our marketplace. We have we have something called a map exchange where uh, they can sell these apps uh, to our global audience. So that way, uh, we are giving a reach to all our partners and users. And uh, Smart Maps, um, in fact, it actually comes in three, three uh, what products. Uh, the what first one is called a uh, Map Foundation, and the second one is a Map Studio, and the, and the third is a uh, Map Exchange. In India, uh, we have still not started this, but uh, we are going to launch this in the, in the month of June. Um, and I'm sure um, uh, all, our, all our Indian users will be what benefited using these smart maps. So, what is the future the Hexagon sees in India? What we foresee is that you know, more and more people will be using geospatial technologies into asset data collection in utilities. They'll be using it as a part of you know, decision support system. They'll be using it as part of you know development for the infrastructure for like I said you know for NHI for railways for metrail monorails etc. For laying out for example water and sewage system for irrigation. So there I see immense possibilities for hexagon systems in India. And also as uh, there are new mines as you are aware that out of 218 mines 214 were deregulated by Supreme Court. So as the new mines and new leases come, I think there is a lot of opportunity for geospatial for doing the exploration, core data modeling, defining the mine boundaries, boundaries and mine tenement system, etc. So I see a lot of possibilities for that.